Luton Town have done it again. Jacob Brown has signed from Stoke City for a fee reported to be around that 2.5 million rise into 3 million pound mark. In today's video, I'm going to discuss my overall thoughts on the signing and also tell you guys what I think should happen going forward in terms of how many more players we need to bring in. But before I do, can we please drop a like on today's video? The more likes we get, the better the video does. It reaches out to a much wider audience. Give me your thoughts down in the comment section of today's video. Make sure you join my Discord group if you haven't already, guys. It's basically Luton fans just chatting about Luton um, in my um, Discord group. And you also give me some video suggestions as well. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're on TikTok, go and follow me across over on there. The link is in the description below as well. So, Luton have signed 25-year-old Jacob Brown from Stoke City for obviously a fee for around 2.5 to 3 million pounds. Probably a lot more in there with all the add-ons and, you know, sell-on fees if he does do well for us or appearance bonus and so on and so on, playing for Scotland and whatnot. He's made six caps for Scotland and I'm expecting him to make a lot more if he does well in the Premier League with us. Yeah, I'm really happy with this signing, you know. I've already read a few things on social media which I'm not liked from certain Luton fans that we shouldn't really be going for a player like him. I want to say when have our recruitment team done extremely bad? They haven't. If you look at the window so far, it's been a brilliant window. We've just signed Ross Barkley for crying out loud. Jacob Brown is someone I think has something in him which a lot of people have overlooked and I do think he will do well within our system. He definitely suits our system as well. I've seen him score against us in the past He's someone who spent the last four years in the championship. Maybe it's now time to step up. In a Stoke side which has been really poor over the last couple of years, I think it's probably a new environment, a new test, a level up in terms of league will do him a lot of good. From what I've seen from him, he's a, a very aggressive forward. You know, he's always in the box. He likes to press. He's apparently, I've looked at his statistics, he's one of the best pressing forwards in the championship. We're going to need a lot of that in the Premier League, you know, forcing Premier League defenders to make mistakes so we can then go and counter attack and get our goals. We're going to be an ugly and horrible side to play against um, this upcoming Premier League season. And I think someone like Jacob Brown is probably the perfect type of player for that. Especially when the likes of Elijah or Morris get really tired or injured or whatnot. It's a lot harder in the in the Premier League because it's just another step. You know, it's a lot more fitter, a lot more stronger. You know, it, it has all these different things. And I feel like when you've got someone, at, especially at that age as well, 25, he, he, he's not too young and he's not too old he's that perfect age where he can still improve as well it's kind of like a perfect signing and i feel like people have overlooked him and that's why we've managed to get him on a decent amount of money as well like it got linked that we were signing him i saw a photo um, of him you know chatting to our physio probably at the training ground so someone exposed that on social media so i kind of knew it, this signing was about to come and that's why i managed to do some research but from watching the clips of him he's a really good supportive striker as well I can definitely see him setting up morris yeah he hasn't set the world alight in the championship but when you're at a team like stoke who haven't been good themselves and no manager really hasn't done the job yet do you blame him it's one of those type of scenarios we look at Alfie when we signed him from Stoke he didn't set the world alight but look what type of season he had but there was definitely a player in there you know maybe this is the same um, with Jacob Brown as well so yeah I'm really excited to see what he can actually do in a Luton shirt he provides competition as I've already mentioned for Morris and Elijah um, and then I think once Jacob comes in we don't need to sign another striker. I think the attacking options are pretty much, you know, sorted. You've got Ogbeni, you've got Morris, you've got Elijah, you've got Woodrow, and then you've also you have got um, Jacob Brown as well. Uh, McAtee is still at the club. He may actually go out on loan to probably a League One side um, or potentially Championship. So yeah, attacking option wise, we're really good. Midfield option wise were really good we just need that center off when we bring in that center back in it'd be so good you know i wouldn't worry too much and then i think we're going to look at bringing another goalkeeper in it may be john ruddy but we have to wait for birmingham to sign another goalkeeper before we can bring john ruddy in you know there's a few you know question marks around that but yeah, centre-half, please, Luton. If we bring in another centre-half in, that would be amazing. reason why I want one is because 
At the moment, we've got six centre-halves. Three of them are out injured. Potts and Burke are constantly injured. Austria has regular injuries in the past. And you're relying on Tom Lockyer, who's had a serious accident well, situation, especially in that playoff final. Not many players can come back from that and make the step up and play Premier League football. So I worry about him because if we overwork him. Amari Bell, he could potentially be fatigue because of him playing in the summer um, for Jamaica. And then you've got Mans Anderson. And no disrespect to him, I do think he can make that step up. But was playing League One football for Barnsley last year. So it's not the strongest of defences in terms of going forward. So that's why I do want another centre-half in because you just can't trust Potts Osho or Burke to stay fit throughout the whole season. So yeah, a centre half is definitely needed in my eyes. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did enjoy listening to my thoughts on the signing of Jacob Brown. Please let me know down in the comment section your thoughts about Jacob. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video.